I'm here with my friend Carl, who is with Electric Bike Blog, and he's absolute genius with all things uh, electric-powered items. And we just finished creating or uh, putting together an electrified wheelbarrow. It's a three kilowatt kit, so it's incredibly powerful. And we filmed the entire process, parts that worked perfectly, parts that needed some effort and uh, adjustments. So stick with us in this multi-part series. We're going to show you all the different steps that were involved to put this together. And if you want to build this kit, you really only need three things. You need the wheelbarrow, which we recommend buying a new wheelbarrow. And then you also need uh, a cordless battery of your choice, anything that between 40 volts and 80 volts. And the voltage listed is the peak wattage, or the peak volts, not the nominal volts. And 80 is the most you can use for this controller. And then we also have the 3000 watt mid-drive cyclone kit, which has a five to one reduction inside of it. And then we're running a massive reduction, you can see here. So it ends up being about a 40 to one reduction. And when you want high torque, that's what you want is massive reduction. So nobody is manufacturing anything like this. You won't find it. You, you really can't buy anything like this. And it's, it's incredibly powerful. You can move five to 600 pounds of weight easily up hills by yourself. So this is what you get uh, when you buy the mid-drive get kit from LunaCycle. And you've got your motor, uh, the hose clamp. This is the, the tensioner, the chain tensioner, throttle. Uh, you have the controller, the, the, the freewheel, and then two mounting brackets. So all this stuff is what comes with Loom Cycle. This is the stuff that you have to buy. You need five bolts for the front wheel um, that are at least four inches long. I use three eighths inch bolts, uh, but you can do different sizes as long as the uh, width of the bolt will go through the eyes on your chain ring, then it'll be fine. And uh, you need washers uh, for spacing stuff out, and then you're gonna need a couple of bolts that are three or three and a half inches with nylon lock nuts uh, to mount the bracket to the wheelbarrow. And then you also need a, uh, a charging unit for whatever battery you wanna use. So this, will, uh, this controller will work with anything that's 52 volts nominal up to 72 volts nominal, and um, the thing is, is that when you buy power tools, they don't use the nominal voltage, they use the peak voltage. So an 80 volt pack will actually work with this even though it's only 72 volts nominal. Uh, and this is, we're gonna do this project with the Greenworks Pro. I usually use the Ego tools, which is 56 volts is what they advertise it as, is peak, but it's only 52 volts nominal, which will work with this controller or uh, another controller if you have it. So that's it. So unfortunately with this Cyclone kit, the uh, the chain ring came with a BCD 130, so it's got four chain ring bolts instead of the five chain ring bolts that the old ones had. So you can see here, um, this uh, is the original setup. We've been using this wheelbarrow for about a year, which is the setup that we're pretty much going to copy for Sean today. And so what we're going to do is we took this um, chain ring I had kicking around. It's an old steel BBS HD chain ring, and you can see it's got five uh, stars on it so we can drill this out and use this which will work a little bit better because the bolts are going to be spread a little bit further um, and so they're going to have a little bit less torque pressure when they turn and then also uh, the chain ring is a little bit offset you can see so we'll also get a little bit of offset so our standoffs won't have to be quite as long so that's that.